let me talk about the web. So the web consists of information organized into web pages containing text and graphic images. The World Wide Web is a larger collection of interconnected documents or content. It contains hypertext links or highlighted keywords and images that lead to related information. It is an old internet that allows only people to read from the internet. And it is the first stage worldwide linking web pages and hyperlinks. So there are examples provided for the Web 1.0, which are the mp3.com, homepage, directories, page view, and portals. And there are also some disadvantages, which are read-only web, limited user interaction, lack of standards. It is a term used to describe a new generation of web services and applications with an increasing emphasis on human collaboration. It is a platform that gives users to the possibility to control their data. Let me also discuss the examples of the Web 2.0. For one is the social networking. So, it is the use of internet-based social media sites to stay connected with friends, family, colleagues, customers, or clients. So next is the blogs. So it is a discussion or informational website published on the World Wide Web consisting of discrete, often informal diary style text and posts. Next is the wiki. So it is a hypertext publication collaboratively edited and managed by its own audience directly using a web browser. So, a typical wiki contains multiple pages for the subjects or scope of the project and may be either open to the public or limited to use within an organization for maintaining its internal knowledge. So, next is the video sharing site. So, it is a website that lets people upload and share their video clips to the public at large or to invited guests. So, so some of these key points are the taxonomy and the rich user interface which is the read-write intelligent web so it is much more advanced and improved than the other two webs that i've mentioned in the past. so it is suggested by john markoff of the new york times for the third generation of the web so in this generation all the application on web or mobile will be upgraded with more features Web 3.0 will be more connected, open, and intelligent with semantic web technologies, distributed databases, natural language processing, machine learning, machine reasoning, and autonomous agents. So, semantic web provides a framework that allows data to be shared and reused to deliver web content specifically targeting the user. So, it is a web of data and changing the web into a language that can be read and categorized by the system rather than humans. First is the e-commerce website. It's a website people can directly buy product from your probably use a number of e-commerce websites before, most big brand and plenty of smaller ones. A website that includes a shopping cart and a way from you to provide credit card information to make a purchase falls into this category. So, yung e-commerce means is pwede siya bumili at mag-sell ng goods over the internet. For example is Amazon, Walmart, Shop Shopify, and Nagento. E-commerce website have four types. First is business to business. Second is business to customer. Third, customer to customer. And last is customer to business. The second is the business website. This is a new website devoted to presenting a specific businesses. It should be branded like the businesses and communicated the types of product and or services the businesses offers. 
So, ang meaning naman ng business website ay siya yung kumakatawan sa isang company or organization sa internet. At nagsisilbi siyang digital storefront kung saan pwede matutunan ng mga tao ang tungkol sa negosyo. Third is entertainment website. If you think about your internet dosi habit, you can probably think of the few websites that you visit purely for entertainment purposes. So, meaning is entertainment website is a website that focuses on creating high quality content that is entertaining for the target audience. It could be anything from information pieces and news to videos, film to blog posts, or even films. So next is the example of entertaining website. They are the YouTube, Netflix, Bilibili, and Max and Fandom. Portfolio website. Our site devoted to showing example for passport services provider who want to show the potential client the quality of the work. They provide a user portfolio website to collect some of the best sample of past work they done. This type of website is simpler to build than a business website and more focused on a particular task, collecting work samples. Next is Media Website. Media Website collect news, stories, or other recording. There's some overlap here with entertainment website. But media websites are mostly likely to include reported piece and additional additions to, to or instead of con content meant purely for entertainment. The internet is the largest computer network in the world that connects billions of computer users. The word internet is a combination of the words interconnection and network the advanced research project agency or the arpa launched an experimental program on computer network on january 2, 1969 and in 1982 the word internet started case western australia university created the first Freenet on 1986 and on 1991, the U.S. government allowed business agencies to connect to internet. Vinton Gray Sir Foreman RS is an American internet pioneer and is recognized as one of the fathers of the internet, together with TCPIP co-developer Bob Kahn. There are five major components of the internet. Number one is servers. There are six types of servers. Number one is the application server. Number two is the web server. Number three is the proxy server. Number four is the mail server. Number five is the file server. And lastly, we have the policy server. The second component is the IP address. The third is browser. Is domain name system and lastly is the internet service provide and there are two types of ISP the national ISP and the regional ISP for business that I know they need an online presence but don't want to be invest a lot into it may be your confidence you continue to get most of your business from other source. Example, brochure. Site that include just a few pages that lay out the basic of what do you what do you and provide contact information may be enough for you. Para sa mga negosyo, alam nilang kailangan ng online presence. Ngunit ayaw mo 
mamuhuna ng malaki dito. Manahel tiwala ka patuloy mong makikuha ang karamihan sa iyong negosyo mula sa iba pang mapagpukunan. This the easy way for many potential donors to make donations will be the first place many people look to learn more about a non-profit and determine if they they want to be supportive. This is the explanation about non-profit. Ang isang non-profit na website ay ang pinakamadaling paraan para maraming potential na donors upang magbigay ng mga donasyon at magiging unang lugar na titignan ng maraming tao upang matuto ang higit pa tungkol sa non-profit at tukuyin kung gusto nilang suportahan ito. The website of educational institution of those offering online courses fall into the category of educational website. This is my explanation about educational website. Website ng mga pag-edukasyon. Ang mga website ng mga institution pang edukasyon at mga nangaalok ng mga online na kurso ay bumagsak sa kategorya ng mga website ng pag-edukasyon. Internet has 12 different pieces and we are gonna discuss each of them. So the first is look for information. With the use of internet, we can look for information to any websites online. And there is a lot of information on the internet that can help us. Second one is school works, jobs, and home purposes. Many of us have a struggle with school work sometimes. That's why internet is a great help to students. Internet also can help us with our jobs too. Nowadays, we have this online job application wherein researching jobs in the internet is popular. Much of this work can be simplified by interacting with the employer online. When it comes to home purposes, internet can also help us. For example, online shopping. You are lazy to go to a mall to buy something you needed at home. But with, this, with the use of internet, you can now shop online and order household goods we need. The third one is send and receive electronic mail. Electronic mail or email is a fast method of exchanging message between the sender and receivers. System. Using the internet, which means you can transmit and receive messages around the world. The next one is video teleconferencing or known as video call or video chat. It is a live visual connection between two or more parties over the internet that simulates a face-to-face -face meeting or talk. Next is buy and sell products. Nowadays, online shopping and selling goods on the internet is beneficial to both buyer and seller. Because of the internet, you can buy and sell with just one click or by posting on social media. Next, we have is social networking. The term social networking entails having connections in both the real world and digital world. This term is mainly used as a reference to online social communications and it's the most important uses of the internet today. The next one is watch and post videos. The internet gives you entertainment wherein you can watch and post videos online. Things that can likely help for you. Example, vlogs, movies, funny movies, and many other videos that you like. Next, we have is games. Online games have been very popular these days. The most common aspect of online gaming is being able to play with other players all over the world. Next is, take college courses. Taking college courses online via internet website is an increasingly popular way to learn something new. Get a degree, save some tuition, and avoid commuting and inconvenient schedule. And it works depend depends on the specific college program. The next is monitor home while away. Sometimes we travel far from home and we have no one to guard our house. But with the use of internet, we can always monitor our home using our mobile phones. The next one we have is financial transaction. By the use of internet banking, it makes the financial transaction faster and provides flexibility in performing financial transactions online. Lastly, we have is download music and movies. In today's modern generation, the internet has allowed people to have easy access to download songs and movies without paying. There are many websites where you can download music and 
smoothies for free and you don't have to spend money anymore. And that's all the 12 different uses of the internet. First, internet. A global network of thousands of computer networks linked by data lines and wireless systems. Second is web. A collection of millions of web pages that you can view with a web browser. Number three is email. The most common method of sending and receiving messages online. Number four is social media. Websites and apps that allow people to share comments, photos, and videos. Number five is online gaming. Games that allow the people to play with and again each other over the internet. Number six is software updates. Operating system and application updates that can technically download the internet. Number seven is HTML or Hypertext Markup Language. It's a coding language used to tell a browser how to place a picture, text, multimedia, and links to create a web page. Number eight is URL or Uniform Resource Locator. It's a web address used to connect to a remote resource on the World Wide Web. Number 9 is B. It's a single digit in the binary numbering system or base 2. For example, 1 is a bit or 0 is a bit. Number 10 is byte. Generally, it consists of 8 bits. Or it is a unit of digital information that consists of Bits. Number 11 is upload. To upload is to transfer data from your computer to another computer. Number 12 is download. To download is to transfer the data from another computer to your computer. Number 13, HTTP is the acronym for Hypertext Transfer Protocol, the data communication standard of web. Number 14, HTTPS is the acronym for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. This indicates that the web page has a special layer of encryption added to hide your personal information and password from others. Number 15, Router or Router Modem. The combination is the hardware device that acts as the traffic cop for network signals arriving at your home or business from your ISP. A router can be wired or wireless both. Number 16 is encryption. is the mathematical scrambling of data so that it is hidden from eavesdroppers. Number 17, web boot. A term that applies to programs or applets or macros and intelligent agents used on the internet. Lastly, search engine, specialized software such as Google and Yahoo that lets WWW browser users search for information on the web by using keywords and access.